Hey guys, it's Josh Rossi with CompositePlanet.com. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh Rossi Photo. Today we're going to be going over is how to add detail back into this guy's skin where the detail's been taken out. So a lot of the time, if you haven't run into this already, this is bound to happen at some point where you you're retouching the skin and you take detail out of it. So the patch tool is a tool that I use a good amount, but it's not very good at keeping underlying detail. So for example, this is what I did down here. I'll give you an extreme example. So I, I circled a spot that I wanted to correct and I brought it on accident over to a part that was kind of blurry like this. And what I did is I wanted to fix this skin down here so I made all this a little bit blurry to smoothen it out. So now it's looking a little bit plastic plasticky down here. So I wanted to add in more detail. This is a really simple technique. So to fix this, hit S on the keyboard to go to your clone stamp tool. And the key to this is to paint with a low opacity, about 20%. And I am on a soft edge brush. And all you do is, I'm going to copy this down really quick. All you do is hold down Option or Alt to sample from a spot that already has some texture. And just paint in down here where you want the texture to be. So you can see it's really slight, but it's it's looking really good. It's bringing back some of that texture so it doesn't look so flat and um, plasticky. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's a really simple technique that will allow you to fix parts that are not textured and so they don't look like plastic. So here's the before and after. Down here on the chin, you can see the before, and then the after. It's looking a lot better. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out compositeplanet.com for more free and pro tutorials and free backgrounds and a bunch of other stuff. Thank you again and I'll see you soon.